Italian journalist Fabrizio Romano has come out and said that Jose Mourinho and Tottenham are still scouting into Milan centre-back Milan Skriniar. The club love him, still want him, but he will cost a lot more money. More links to RB Leipzig's Marcel Sabitza. Regulon, a doubt for the Newcastle game on Sunday. Gareth Southgate on Harry Kane, a former star on the amazing Spurs Academy. And Gareth Bale speaks out again about going back to Real Madrid this summer. Welcome back to another video. I hope you're all keeping safe and well. Today is Tuesday the 30th of March and I'm going to go through all of the Tottenham news, all of the rumours and all of the reports from the last 24 hours. And if you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Just before I get into today's video, make sure that you download the OneFootball app for all of the live football scores, results and news. As well as getting all of the latest Spurs news on this channel, you can also see it all here. Download the OneFootball app to keep up to date with everything Tottenham Hotspur. Club news, transfer news, match information, videos, tables and results from all around the world. Don't miss out and please do let me know what you think of this app. In the summer transfer window, there was so much media speculation about the possibility of Tottenham Hotspur signing into Milan centre-back Milan Skriniar. Well, according to Fabrizio Romano, the Italian journalist, he has been talking to Give Me Sport and he believes that Spurs are still scouting the player and Jose Mourinho and Tottenham believe that Milan Skriniar would be the perfect fit for Spurs. Fabrizio Romano said, I would mention again Skriniar because they love the player. They are scouting. They love the player. They're convinced he would be perfect. Jose Mourinho loves the player. It's one of the players they are convinced would be perfect. It's about the scouting. It's about the board. It's about Jose Mourinho. They love the player. Fabrizio Romano said they had a big problem that they were really close to signing Milan Skriniar. They offered like 35 million euros. Inter Milan were asking 50 million euros. So they were close, but they decided to give up before the last matches of the season. What happened in this moment is Antonio Conte is doing an amazing job with Skriniar. Now he's a starter. Before they had Diego Godin and Skriniar was not playing. Now he's a starter. He's doing so well, so the fans are in love with Skriniar. So I think it's not 50 million euros anymore. This summer, it could be around 80 million or 75 million euros for Milan Skriniar. So really, really complicated. Let's see what Tottenham decide about the centre-back. A report has been published on the Sky Sports website and it states Sergio Reguilon is in a race against time to be fit for Tottenham's trip to Newcastle this Sunday. The Spanish left-back was taken off with a knock to the foot in the previous game against Aston Villa and missed out on international duty as a result. He is back doing light training work this week, but has not yet returned to full training with the rest of those Spurs players, also not with their countries. He also published on Instagram a few days ago that everything is fine. England manager Gareth Southgate has been talking to the Evening Standard about England captain and, of course, Tottenham superstar Harry Kane. And he says, uh, what's pleased me about Harry Kane this week, he's been super positive about everything. His view of where the club are at is that they are three points off a Champions League place with a League Cup final to look forward to. That's the only thing he's discussed with me. From our point of view, he's led the group really well again this week. As covered in the last couple of videos, Dane Scarlett, the 17-year-old Tottenham striker, signed his first professional contract at the club. And former Tottenham and England goalkeeper Paul Robinson has been talking to the Football Insider all about the academy and said the academy at Spurs is amazing. They're bringing a lot of young players through, Dane Scarlett being one. He's got a huge future ahead of him. The problem for the youngsters is getting game time. We've seen the likes of Oliver Skip and Troy Parrott go out on loan, and they are having a great upbringing. Spurs, like Manchester City and another of other big clubs, almost have a loan squad at the beginning of the season. That squad is full of younger players that the club know are going to be loaned out for experience and valuable game time. Dane Scarlett could be the next one to head out, but he is still very young, so it might be best for him to stay and develop in the environment at Tottenham. Reports out in Germany and, of course, in the UK, all about Marcel Sabitzer, another player that Tottenham Hotspur have been heavily linked with. A report out today um, in England, this one is from the Manchester Evening News, and it states that Manchester United are set to battle other Premier League clubs um, for Marcel Sabitzer's signature this summer. That is according to reports in Germany. 
Um, they are reporting that Manchester United, Liverpool and Tottenham Hotspur are all interested in Sabitzer and are ready to go head-to-head -to, -head to compete for his services. The RB Leipzig's captain uh, contract runs out in 2022 and it is believed that the Red Bull uh, franchise club are reluctant to let him go on a free transfer. Whilst on international duty, Gareth Bauer's again been talking about his future. Will he go back to Real Madrid? Will he stay at Spurs next season? He said, for me, first and foremost, I still have this season and I still have plenty of games to go for the Euros. Obviously, going into next season, legally, my contract says I have to go back to Real Madrid. That is what is stated, which I don't think is being disrespectful to anybody. That's legally what I have to do. Gareth Bale then went on to say, Real Madrid are, I guess, my parent club. And as far as I agreed, I went to Tottenham on loan until the end of the season. And then I go back. That's the plan so far. He then added, the reason I left was because I wanted to play games and get match fit and enjoy my football. Obviously, come the summer, I will go back to Real Madrid and then we will go from there. I think the plan is to go back. And then whether I sit down with my agent is something that we will do in the summer. So in the last 24 hours, all of us football fans have learnt that Sergio Aguero will be leaving Manchester City at the end of the season. Now, Manchester City are now being linked with the likes of Erling Haaland, Danny Ings and, of course, Tottenham Hotspur striker Harry Kane. Now, please do let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. How confident are you that Harry Kane will be a Tottenham Hotspur player next season? According to reports out in Belgium today, Belgium club club Bruges have made contact with Tottenham Hotspur defender Toby Alderweireld over a potential summer move. The 32-year-old has made 18 starts in the Premier League this season and has one goal to his name. And according to reports out in Belgium, club Bruges are keen on the Belgium defender. This report is on the Sports Lens website and it says that Toby Alderweireld, who is currently on around £80,000 per week uh, at the club, has a contract at the club until 2023 and Spurs are expected to demand a decent transfer fee for him if he does want to leave this summer. Former Premier League midfielder Rob Lee has been talking to the football fan cast about Tottenham target Yannick Vestergaard and he believes that Tottenham shouldn't go and break the bank for him. He said, I've seen him play well, I've seen him play badly, so I wouldn't go breaking the bank for him. I'd go and break the bank for the striker Danny Ings, but Vestergaard, no, no, not really. He's not a Virgil van Dijk, is he? As I said at the start of the video, today is the 30th of March, so many happy returns to former Tottenham and England star Gary Stevens. He played for Tottenham Hotspur between 1983 and 1989, winning the UEFA Cup of Spurs in 1984, also winning seven England caps during that period as well. He made a total of 147 league appearances for Tottenham, scoring six times, 17 appearances in the FA Cup, 21 appearances in the League Cup, and also 15 appearances in European competition, scoring twice. Can you believe it's now two years to the day since the Tottenham Hotspur legends took on the Inter Milan legends at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium? Of course, it was one of the test events for the new ground. Um, two years ago, 30th of March 2019, the result was the Tottenham Hotspur legends 4, Inter Milan legends 5. What a game that was. Channel Sponsors Football Prizes are giving away yet another fantastic prize this week. It is a signed 2010-2011 Tottenham Hotspur shirt signed by Gareth Bale, Christian Eriksen and Carl Walker. For your chance to win this prize, do visit their website. All of the details are below. When Tottenham Hotspur are playing, do you ever wonder what channel we are playing on? Is it Sky Sports? Is it BT Sport? Is it Amazon? Is it Premier Sports? Is it BBC? Well, look no further. You can find out very quickly and very easily by downloading the app uh, One Football on TV. You can also go on their website as well. It's all completely free and I recommend it 100%. A fantastic app giving you all of the latest information and uh, just making it very, very easy for fans to know exactly what channel Tottenham Hotspur are on. Spurs are next in Premier League action this Sunday coming away at Newcastle at St James's Park, 2.05pm kickoff. Now, if you are confident of Tottenham still finishing in the top four, do head over to the William Hill website or download their apps because Spurs are 3-1 to one to finish in the top four. And Harry Kane remains 6-4 to four to finish the highest goal scorer in the Premier League this season. Thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do put all of your thoughts and comments in the comment section below on everything I've spoken about in today's video. If you don't subscribe to the channel as yet, please do hit that subscribe button. Stay safe and well. I'll see you on the next one. Until then, come on you Spurs.